Hey, hey, g'day everybody, it's Matt here from Matt Carves. So today we're going to be carving a delicate little butterfly from this. And this here is Keep Brachko, which is one of the world's heaviest woods. It's one of the world's strongest woods and densest woods. It is really heavy. I know I'm making it look easy because I'm so strong. It's more like a brick actually. Look at the color in this. It's amazing. Anyway. So we're going to use a drill, uh, some cutsel burrs, and uh, some assorted burrs that I found around the workshop. Hey, let's try and tame this beast. Mm. Okay, so we've drawn a rough outline of the butterfly, and now I'm cutting it on the bandsaw. And just one thing to remember here, this is a really dense wood, so just go slow with the cuts. Uh, you don't ever want to force wood through a machine. You always got to let the machine do the work. As otherwise, if you force it, it can uh, slip and get your hand there. You can see I'm using a push stick quite a lot of the time and making multiple cuts. Okay, so we've got our butterfly cut out. Uh, it's a little bit thick at the moment. I'm going to thin that down now. Uh, let's go and do that. Okay, so just uh, sanding it down with some 40 grit. Uh, as you can see, there's a real dark line on the sandpaper. That's because this wood is burning. It's just so dense. Um, the sandpaper is having a hard time, but um, we can't really do much about that. Okay, so we're just drawing on the butterfly body and the butterfly wings here. Um, it's always like a thing where you kind of keep on redrawing things after you've sort of like taken it back a little bit with the uh, burrs or the sandpaper. And here we go, we're uh, starting to carve here with one of the cutsole burrs. Um, not sure if I would have, you know, I just grab one and I'll see how it goes. Um, I'm, it's always sort of like an experiment, this kind of wood, because you don't quite know how these burrs are going to react to the wood. Um, but the cutsole seems to be really handling it well. Uh, this is one of the coarser cut saws, um, just showing you there. Um, then I'm making the butterfly thinner. Okay people, so we've got up to this stage, it's pretty thin now, um, I don't want to go too much thinner, but uh, I want to start carving some details into it, it just took so long to get to this point, I can't believe it, this wood is insanely hard. Okay, so now we're putting in details and I'm using a little carbide burr, it's got a little round end on it. And it seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, just taking my time and going around the outlines and uh, putting in the details. I always pencil it in first and um, try and line up the both sides and uh, then attack it with a Dremel. Okay, so just to show you how dense this wood is, check this out. Here's a nice glass of water here. And you come along, put your uh, wet warning here. So if you're gonna build a boat, don't build it out of this stuff because it is so dense. Uh, you're gonna be on like boat launching day. You're gonna be like coming along. Yeah, I'm gonna launch my boat. Oh, my mates are there. Everyone's there checking it out. 
and bang, right to the bottom. People are laughing and you've, well, you've spent probably two years building your boat and now it's at the bottom of the ocean. Mm. Okay, so it's all about detail now. Uh, just going over the butterfly using uh, cuts all burr there then sandpapering it back. I even go to a nice little uh, carving knife to get the little details in. Uh, you can see here that I'm trying to get right in between the wings there. Just trying to get some definition in between the two wings so that looks like they're separate wings, you know. Um, and it's really good that, that knife because you can get really into really narrow corners. Okay, so you've done all the sanding and all of that kind of stuff, and I want you to comment below if you think putting the final layer of oil or stain or anything like that on your wood carving is the best part of wood carving. I think it is, I, I really do, because you, you know you've done all the hard work, and now you can sit back and just watch the transformation of the wood um, as the oil hits it, and it just looks beautiful. Beeswax smells nice, and it's a good day, yeah. So here it is, the final finished product. I don't cry when it rains no more Or I get dirt on my shoes I don't mind climbing eight more floors Cause these stairs are all heading